Hey there everyone, welcome to the Events on Video tutorial series. Video number eight, we are going to be covering the RSVP add-on, the installation setup and the display for this specific uh, plugin. So let's jump on into our WordPress dashboard. I am now under the uh, Events on settings. Uh, you'll notice here we up top have the RSVP tab. We're gonna go ahead and check on that guy. And let's go through the settings really quick so we can get this on our page and see what it looks like. Um, here is an option to only allow the logged in users to submit an RSVP. So meaning they must register on your website and be approved before they can even register or, or RSVP to your events on your page. Um, if they are registered and logged in, then you can use this option to pre-fill the form fields that are going to be included in the form. Um, then again, we have an option to allow only logged in users to change their RSVP, uh, meaning they can go ahead and manage their RSVP if they change it from, or that they initially have, yes, I want to go uh, to this event, to uh, maybe or no, they can go ahead and change that and it will update the system. Um, emails, really quick, uh, receive email notifications from a new RSV p receipt uh, yeah it's probably important so you it'll come up to your name and your admin email address um, here's a from here's the to and the subject line um, obviously um, send out the email confirmations to the actual attendees you can put the name of your website or your name um, or whoever's handling the RSVPs the admin email address by default, subject line, and you can also include a contact link back to your contact page or maybe even the event page as well. Uh, if you guys need to edit any of the email templates, you can change them. Uh, this is where that file directory is. So you probably won't need to, but some people have asked for it, so that's why the option is there. Uh, let's go to the RSVP form. Uh, a lot of people don't realize you have to go to the settings to initialize some of these um, fields, so let's do that really quick before you jump on in and uh, you get flustered and can't figure it out. So I want to include the maybe or the no because when I do an RSVP, kind of like on Facebook, they have yes, no, or maybe. So why not just follow that trend and uh, allow that? Um, this will hide the uh, change RSVP button. So again, if you want to allow your login users or the public to change your RSVP, they can do that. You can just check mark that. I'm not going to hide it. I want to show you what it looks like. Um, here are the form fields um, to show in the form. Remember, by default, first, last names, and email are required, and they will be there. Um, I'm going to add the phone number. Let's add RSVP count if they want more than one, because um, it will default as a one count if they uh, don't if you don't specify. Um, they can receive updates about the event if you change or send out updates and a verification code to make sure that it's a real person. Uh, you can add three more fields, so um, those can come in handy if you need to collect more information from them, um, whether they have a code or something or specific directions they want to include, you can do that there. Uh, let's save those ch uh, changes, and that is it for the RSVP. Um, we're going to create an event, or edit an event really quick, so let's go to our events. And let's change the Akron Zoo Day uh, that we did in the previous uh, video tutorial. I'm going to click on the Akron Zoo Day. And you'll notice here is the new option for the RSVP event tab. Um, yes, I'm going to check that to allow visitors to RSVP. Pretty cool. Here's our, the, all the options. It's, currently it's brand new, so there's no yes, maybes, or nos RSVP'd. Um, I want to show the account on the front end of how many people are coming or who's RSVP'd. Um, let's show who's coming. Um, it'll show currently their, their initials, uh, if you mouse over their name. And then um, let's set, set a capacity. Let's say I only want to allow 20 people to RSVP for this event. Let's show the remaining count on the front end. So if it's down to 10 and it's confirmed, then it'll only show 10 available. Um, close RSVP time uh, before time. So basically, if you want to shut the RSVP down to maybe 24 hours or... Uh, minutes before uh, a deadline or the event, the actual event, then you can put put it put it here. Um, you know, or you can put a note on your page that says, "Hey, we will not accept RSVPs past two o'clock in the afternoon of the day of the event." So that's that's a download or an option as well. 
Um, you'll notice here um, three three buttons to view attendees. That's who's said yes uh, to the event. Download a CSV. You can collect the information from the RSVPs that have submitted their information. So names, email addresses, phone numbers, those all come in handy. You can save those and send them newsletters if you want to. Um, and then also to sync the count, you can hit that to refresh the yes, maybe, no's um, in the system. So I'm going to update that. Or we're going to check that event out on our front page. Um, really quick, I'm just going to go to pages and choose the full calendar page. It's my, my favorite view. And we're going to view that page. Now my Akron Zoo event, I believe, was on the 27th. There it is. I'm going to open that up. And... And my RSVP is not showing. I might need to give me one second. Let's go back here to um, the settings. If this happens to you, this is good that it happened. Um, we're going to show you how to fix that really quick. If it's not showing up on the front end, we're going to go to the event card and see the RSVP box here, how it's last. Um, we can leave it last, but it wasn't showing up at all. We might need to come back here and hit save changes, even if we left it where it was at to have it show up on the front end. So let's go back really quick so we can get out of here. And you don't have to listen to me talk anymore. To the full calendar page. And we're going to view that page with the Akron Zoo again. And there is our RSVP options. Um, the system just needed to refresh and, and save those changes from the back end. So obviously, yes, I want to go to the event. I have the option here to change. Um, Let's call myself Roger Rabbit. Um, that's my email. You can have it if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Fake phone number. I don't want you guys calling me. I don't like it that much. Um, let's say we got let's say we got seventeen people. Four plus two equals six. There's a, a validation, and I do want to receive event, uh, event notifications. So the yes was checked. I'm going to submit that. There we go. You have reserved 17 spaces for the Akron Zoo Day. We have emailed you a confirmation to Mike is rain at Gmail. Um, and it thanked me personally, which is kind of nice. Um, if I want to change that, I can click that to change it. Oh, you know, you know what? I only wanted 12. So there we go. We're going to close that. Let's go back to the back end and see what it looks like under the RSVP information that has been submitted. So I'm going to go to the events tab here and you'll see are all the RSVPs that have been submitted. So the event, the Akron Zoo Day, the RSVP status, yes, I have RSVP'd. So I can go ahead and click this, and I can see all the information that was submitted, how many people, I want to receive updates. There's a link to the actual event to edit it. Um, if you are keeping track somehow and you want to use this option, you can click that and see that th that person is checked in. So you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, did these 12 people come? Do we need to count for them? Yeah, there you go. It's checked in. Um, here is, um, if you want to resend the confirmation, if they for some reason didn't get it, you can resend an email confirmation showing them that they RSVP'd the, the uh, date and the time of the event and everything and the RSVP number. So they'll receive an email with that information on it. Um, that is it for the RSVP, guys. Um, again, you can mess around with some of these settings for RSVP to, to the way you would like. But short and sweet, that is it. Uh, we'll see you next time.